guys, long time no see. Just have been a bit over a week since my last video. And so today I decided to do a special video, which if you haven't guessed by the title, is a Sephora haul. Seriously, if you follow me on Twitter, you will realise literally how excited I've been to get this package. It's been literally refreshing my tracker on the package for like two, three days. It's not been healthy at all. So before I get into the haul itself, I'm going to kind of explain the whole process. Um, I think it was two, well, this Friday it'll be two weeks ago since Sephora announced that they would start delivering to the UK. This my little fist pump of excitement. Um, and been a long time coming so obviously there's a lot of things that you need to know about. The first thing is if you spend over 75 UK pounds on um, an order you get your delivery for 10 pounds so that is just your delivery cost. What you also get included in that is import tax but that is included in your final price so I think for mine it, it basically I think I spent 80 ish pounds like it was over the 75 pounds so I got the 10 pounds delivery charge which is absolutely fine and then I got I think it's about 18 pounds import tax which not everybody wants to pay but the way that I thought of it was in terms of the exchange rate so I ordered let's just say for example tart blushes they're coming to QVC I think it is on the 28th of March and they're gonna be around 26 pounds on Sephora's website it worked out at £16.41 so you've got just under a £10 difference in price there and with the exchange rate things obviously are a lot cheaper for us in the UK so spending £18 on the import tax didn't seem too much of a grievance for me I kind of thought to myself well at the end of the day it's coming from the US and it's products that I can't get in the UK and there is obviously the difference with the exchange rate so I did, wasn't overly bothered by that but that's just me personally the other catch is that you can't get things that are in nail polish bottles aerosols or perfume bottles so the chances of me getting some Sephora polishes or Marc Jacobs polishes were literally straight up not gonna happen um, that's just the way that the postal system works it's like if you're sending stuff within the UK I think you can only have like four nail polishes per package so there's that, which is a bit annoying, but nevertheless. Um, the other thing is you can't buy brands such as NARS, YSL, Hourglass, um, Urban Decay, etc, etc. Ones that are so widely available in the UK. Maybe it's because they think that would affect business over in the UK because you're sort of getting it cheaper with the exchange rate. I don't know, things may change in the future. Anyway, that's pretty much the rundown of ordering. So I placed my order on Thursday night, about half past ten. Um, so that's last Thursday, which is the 13th. And so I pressed my order. I'd been like planning it for like a week, sort of trying to get the best of my money. And then I got a notification, I think it was on Sunday night, that it had been dispatched. Um, obviously with the weekend... Um, I kind of like thought that it would be um, sort of the back end of this week that I would get it. So then I got like a tracker which I was refreshing, I swear, like every five minutes. And it got to, I think it was like Ohio or something, so I was watching it travel across the US. And it arrived in the UK yesterday um, morning at like 6am, so it arrived in the East Midlands. And like that was amazingly fast and then you get the UK postage and sort of delivery system which isn't as efficient it's not like let's get it out of the country off the sidewalk you know and all that stuff um, whereas over here it's like oh we'll chuck it in a van we'll have some lunch and we'll think about it tomorrow that's the way I always think of our postal sort of system anyway long story short this is a really long story um, it arrived today safe and sound and I am already opened it because I'm an impatient little Annie and um, yeah so I've already been through and seen everything that I got so it arrives in this box here and there was a lot of paper involved so I've got rid of a lot of that so it hopefully won't be too noisy so let's start with the samples so with Sephora 
you get three little sachets um, per order so I'll go through that so the first thing I, sh I wanted the YSL glossy stain sample because I love those but sadly by the time I came to do my order they were all sold out so I got the Laura Mercier flawless skin face polish because we all have a bit of Laura Mercier and I also got the Clinique Acne Solutions Clearing Gel. Not that I'm massively spotty, but you never know. And then I also got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo. I'm not too sure which one. Oh, this is it's like standard. It's like a little sort of powder sort of pressed onto a bit of plastic on there. That's in dark brown, which is probably going to be a bit too dark for me, but I'm not complaining because I get to try it, so that's good. Then I also got um, a little perfume sample inside the box which I wasn't expecting and it's the Tory Birch one and it's the first fragrance from Tory Birch so I'll have a sniff of that. And then I also got this weird sort of fold out card thing which is your scent journey starts here Sephora fragrance, not that I'm going to be able to buy any. Um, so basically this says receive 100 bonus points for any Dolce & Gabbana fragrance purchase between the 9th and 31st of March. 31st. 31st of March. Basically Sephora has like a points based system a bit like Boots does and you can but what you can do is you can actually use those points to try sample sizes of things and this just has like a little sample of Dolce and Gabbana light blue which reminds me of high school a little bit so that's that. So the thing that I got because I had like a hundred, over 100 Sephora Beauty Insider points so I picked up the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4 in 1 Mascara, this is just like a little ditty sample, I think it is a 3ml, so it's not going to last very long, but it's nice to try it anyway. So, let's start, where shall I start? Yes, Tarte Blushes, hello! <laughs> I think we all knew that one was going to happen. So I picked up two Tarte Blushes because I have like just lusted after these for so, so long. And the first one I got is the shade Tipsy, which is a very famous shade on here, this here YouTube. And it looks like this. It's just a really gorgeous coral blush that is going to look amazing in the summer. I can't wait to wear it. Um, and it has like a nice mirror there as well. They're really good size. I think they're a 5.6 gram, so they're a really good size blush. And I picked up another tart one. This one I kind of thought to use as like a contour, and a lot of people recommended it. And if I can get into the packaging without smudging my nails that I've literally just painted. Okay, and this one is Exposed, which is just a really nice sort of cool toned matte brown. Well, it's kind of like a brownie sort of taupey shade. And I think this is going to look amazing through the back of my cheeks. And again, it has the mirror. And again, it is a 5.6 gram. So excited to try those, as you can tell. Um, and obviously if I like them, I will order some more. Then the next thing I got was another like cheek product and I feel like this whole order was just cheek stuff but we ain't complaining and this is the Josie Moran Coconut Water Cheek Gelée, ooh, it was, uh, Cheek Gelée in Pink Escape and I've heard really lovely stuff about these and they're like water based sort of um, like stainage cheeks I mean that colour just looks really scary in the pan but um obviously I will look into that and I just think the packaging is just so nice if I could get the lid on <laughs> um and I'm excited to try that um yeah that's called pink escape then I thought what would a Sephora order be without a brush so I went for the Sephora professional mineral powder blush brush even <laughs> which looks like this it's just like the softest um, like I like to call them buffing brushes a bit like a buffing brush not that I need any more face brushes but I just think this feels oh, so nice on there and I think then I got a product that actually you can get over here and it's the Anastasia Browers Skinny Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Blonde the, pa <laughs> the thing I noticed about this is the packaging is a bit this big and then the pencil is that thin like it's seriously the thinnest brow pencil ever. It's got the pencil end with the colour and then it's also got a really handy spoolie. This spoolie looks like a good one. So I'm going to give that a whirl because I've, well, I'm currently using the Soap and Glory Brow Archery one and I've repurchased that one and the one I used before and absolutely loved was the Hourglass 
Brow Arch Sculpting Pencil, which is £26. Ah, but it is a good one. So I thought I'll try that one because it's a bit cheaper. And then the final thing I got was a palette. And I didn't want to get anything too, like, too many colours because I have so many palettes. But I saw this and then I actually saw Fleur from Fleur de Force with it. And it's a pocket eye palette and it's very sparkly. It looks like a little purse. And then you open it up and it has all these lovely neutral shades in. Of course, we need all the neutrals ever. Um, just like really nice sort of, um, I think there's two matte shades, which is the blackish one there and then the cream one and then the rest are sort of shimmery. Um, really lovely shades. I think they're going to look really nice. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that I got. So that's my first ever Sephora haul. Hopefully one of many, I'm sure. My bank balance may not agree with me, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this video was semi-informative and exciting because hauls are always exciting. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a little comment below with sort of any videos you want to see in future. I um, hope you don't mind this background. It's a little, quite a lot of colour going on right now. I forgot I had pink hair. And if you haven't done so already, please click subscribe and I hopefully will see you guys in my next video. Bye!